Well, welcome back here inside Moby Arena. It serves as our stage for the Tim Miles Show. We start to talk some Colorado State women's basketball now. Joined by head coach Kristen Holden, sophomore guard Alexandra Porter. And coach, uh, let's start with you. Um, a good effort against TCU earlier this week, a game that you led most of the way and then faltered down the stretch and then, then a road loss at, at UNLV, but kind of rehashed the week for us. Well, it was a, a very good effort against TCU. Um, played played really hard, uh, played very well, made good decisions, uh, kept our turnovers down. Um, just played a, a good overall defensive game. I mean, it was our defense created our offense. And um, when we play like that, we're usually pretty good. And um, just couldn't find a way to pull it out, though, at the end. Didn't make plays that we needed to. Uh, the defense that carried us for 30 minutes uh, wasn't as good in the last five to six. And um, so it's just a, it's a game where their seniors kind of took over at the end. And uh, we couldn't we couldn't stop them. And I think they had we'd looked at the stats. They had five layups in the last I don't know how many minutes of the game, six minutes, and uh, got to the free throw line at the end and hit those shots. Yeah, I mean, Alexandra, a team like TCU that I mean, obviously they're very athletic. You guys had them here. I know you guys had to feel good about that, but not about not being able to close out. Yeah, uh, it was definitely a tough game. We really focused on our defense majority of the game. You know, in the first half, there was so much energy. Everybody was making plays. And just, we, we just seemed like a different team, you know, even as a player. It, it just, the energy was just amazing. And I, and I definitely wanted that con to continue in the second half. That was usually the struggle we had to put two halves together. And I think, you know, we, we almost did at the TCU game. We just kind of, you know, as, as Coach said at the end, we just, we just couldn't put it together. It seems like there's been a common denominator with this team when it comes to playing well. Energy. Is that, uh, is, is, do you agree with that? If you guys play with energy, you guys can play with anybody in the conference. Oh, definitely. Because, I mean, our, our energy sparks everything. You know, a defense, one defensive stop can, you know, change the whole game for us. You know, you know energy, it, it reaches everybody. And when that happens, I mean, we're a dangerous team. Yeah. You played well against uh, TCU and UNLV, a career-high 19 uh, against the Frogs. Do you f feel more and more comfortable uh, each and every time out there as a sophomore now kind of learning this college game? Yeah, you know, I do feel comfortable. Uh, I just let the game kind of me, you know, try not to focus too much on offense, just more of on defense. That's what makes the game just a lot easier. There's no pressure, you know, just play the game and help do what my team needs me to do. Yeah, hey, Kristen, talk a little bit about her maturation. Uh, she seems to be stepping up here of late. Yeah, no, she's a, we all know she's an offensive spark, um, but like she said, I think the difference, especially in the TCU game, her defense was awesome. I mean, she was guarding uh, Helena Spare's daughter uh, and pressuring her and annoying her and, and, and keeping her in front and did a great job. I mean, uh, and, and that's the kind of thing Mix can do. When she uh, and Chantel and, and Sarah can get steals and create layups and easy points for us, it kind of just gets the crowd going, it gets them going, and um, you know she's just coming along, and, and it's just been nice to have her come off the bench and give us a spark. We only have three kids coming yeah. off the bench, and, and if one of those kids can do what she's been doing, that's, that's huge. Yeah, Alexandra Porter, a sophomore at Chantilly, Virginia, Northern Virginia. So um, how do you go from Virginia to Fort Collins, Colorado? Definitely being a heavy coat. <laughs> it, it's definitely cold out here. Yeah. But um, atmosphere-wise, you know, it is a little bit different. The people here are nicer, more friendlier. Um, the fans are great here. Uh, there's definitely a lot of support. You know, our fans, they're loyal. You know, they come to our games a lot. And, like, we appreciate that as players, and I think everybody does. Um, but it's, it's, it's a nice change, though, from home. You know, it's different, and I like it. Yeah. Of course, Kristen, you've spent some time in Virginia on the East Coast when you were at, at Radford. How did you find Alexandra Porter? I saw her play in the summer. Uh, she has had one of the sweetest jump shots uh, that I've ever seen and still does. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing like Mix's jump shot. Um, uh, she might be able to even teach some of the men, men's <laughs> players, how to shoot it. It's really good. Yeah. But uh, that caught my eye and just the way she was playing in that summer, those summer games. And uh, we just kind of followed it up. We didn't know if a kid 
from out east would want to come out to Colorado, but uh, we needed a, we needed a guard, we needed a point guard, and uh, we just felt that she could fit our system well. Yeah, how, how about the next two and a half years for her? I guess now two years since there's only four games left here in her sophomore season. What type of player do you see her turning into as a junior and senior? Well, I just think what you're, what the glimpses that we've seen of what she can do lately is something that, and I know she's striving to do this too, is just to do it on a consistent basis and be that person that we can count on game in and game out. And uh, we have games left this year, and then she's got two full years left, and that's the exciting part. Yeah, no question about that. All right, four games left. I mean, the season has, has flown by. Uh, talk about the last four games and, and what you guys are, are looking for as you go into the conference tournament. Um, well, as for the last four games, we're just trying to get we – need, we need to get a win, and BYU is going to be a tough opponent. But we, we were right in the game in the first half at their house, and we're really good at playing at home. So I think that, you know, as long as we focus on our defense and we're just, we're just doing the things that we need to do, we're in the positions that we need to be in, I think that, you know, we'll be fine. And, yeah. you know, just run our offense with efficiency and, you know, get transition. And that's where, you know, we can – really make runs and when we push the ball at the floor and just look for open people. Yep, it would be a big win on Wednesday against BYU, wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be a fun one. Well, best of luck on Wednesday, Kristen thanks. and McSandra. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, that's Kristen Holt, women's basketball coach, of course, and sophomore guard McSandra Porter, a bright, bright future for her here in Fort Collins. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we will wrap it up with the coach here on the Tim Miles Show.